the tape for this lightweight matchup. It is all about, look at that record, but look at the age of Usman Nurmagomedov. This is a very young man. Mike Hamill's in the prime of his condition right now. We'll see if the 22-year-old can pull off another win. Here's Michael C. Williams. Bellator MMA moves now to the lightweight division set for three five-minute rounds live on Showtime. We introduce the blue corner at five foot nine, weighing in 155 pounds, even as a professional. Seven wins, four losses by way of Green River, Wyoming. He fights out of Phoenix, Arizona. Magic Mike Campbell. And across the cage is adversary fighting out of the red corner at five foot 11, weighing in 155.2 pounds. Tonight, he makes his Bellator debut, bringing an undefeated professional record of 11 and 0, fighting out of Mahatskala, Dagestan, Russia, introducing Usman Nurmagomedov. And the referee in charge, Todd Anderson. Todd Anderson, the third man inside the cage. Mike Hamill fighting for the first time at 155, looking to upset the undefeated Usman Nurmagomedov. And there is Usman's cousin, Habib hey. Nurmagomedov, hey. who hey. as dominant as he was as a champion fighter, he could be one of the great trainers in the sport as we kick things off here. Nurmagomedov is in the red gloves and Hamill taking the fight to Nurmagomedov immediately in the blue gloves. This is exactly what I expected out of Mike Hamill after watching him in his debut against Adam Borsch when he came in on less than a week's notice. 155 is the weight for Mike Hamill. He's got energy, he's got a lot of gas, and he is a guy that just keeps coming forward. He is going to put pressure on Usman. How is Usman going to respond to it? Nurmagomedov with an 11-0 record, 10 of those wins inside the distance, seven wins via first round knockout or submission. He's only fought past the second round once in his career, and all five of his previous wins have come via knockout or submission, question mark kick there by Nurmagomedov, now from the southpaw stance with the left hand, John. With both of those landed, actually, they got touched as far as they were blocked a little, but they still had some snap on them. Javier Mendez, who of course has trained a murderer's row of champions at AKA, was blown away the first time he saw Usman Nurmagomedov train on his mat. You know, the first time I watched him fight, I was like, dang, man, that kid is so good at the stand-up, so calm, so relaxed, and he just keeps coming. And his wrestling is outstanding. He just doesn't like to wrestle. He likes to stand up and throw his hands. And Mike Hamill bringing the fight to Nurmagomedov standing right in front of him, bouncing up and down, trying to disrupt Nurmagomedov, but Nurmagomedov very calm, cool, and definitely connecting with those kicks. That was a beautiful spinning back kick, and that hit Hamill to the body, and you could tell that it actually had effect. And you see the, the, the calmness of Nurmagomedov, meanwhile, Hamill trying to make it as frenetic as possible. Yeah, you can see right there, you know, Hamill did land to the body. That was a nice thing. And Hamill is taking chances trying to get inside on the range of Nurmagomedov. Current Bellator lightweight champion is, of course, Patricio Pitbull. He'll be busy defending the featherweight title in our main event tonight in the semifinals of the $1 million featherweight Grand Prix in a rematch with Emmanuel Sanchez. As we have reached the midpoint of the first round, Nurmagomedov stabbing Hamill with that jab. There's a right hand by Hamill, but the counter kick by Nurmagomedov. The thing to look at every time that Mike Hamill comes in, see the fact that Nurmagomedov responds. He makes him pay for coming inside. He's going to give him something to think about on every entrance. Timed it perfectly with that right hand jab a couple of times. Now going low with the kicks, staying at Range yeah. Hamill trying to come in and load up with that left hand. The left hand over the top, it touched him. Hamill just rushing a little bit. He just needs to use your footwork to slide yourself inside. He's pointing, 
crowd trying to get a little disruption in the flow of the Magomedov. I don't think you're going to be able to uh, get a Nurmagomedov off their game that way. A minute and a half remaining in the first. Nurmagomedov with the pace and the space, John. Yeah, he, he's really doing a great job of just answering that question. Every time Mike Hamill steps in to, to you know, ask a question, which is, he gives him an answer. And he just switched stances there, landed, uh, partially landed a head kick, partially blocked by Hamill. Hamill closes in, lunges in, and misses wildly with that right hand before switching back to southpaw stance. And Mike Hamill, a lot of energy being expanded. And, and I can tell you, Mike Hamill is Under a minute, He has taken a lot of body shots and he continues with the pressure, so that's telling you he's in shape because that takes a lot of your gas away. He is looking for that home run with the left hand as he got tagged on the nose with that stiff jab from Nurmagomedov. 40 seconds left here in an entertaining opening round. Switches stances does Nurmagomedov. What a beautiful, steady diet of body shots by Luz Vondermagomedov. And they're looking for the takedown before And again, exiting. exits with that kick. Final 20 seconds of the first frame. Hamill again misses with the wild right. Inside leg kick by Nurmagomedov. Nice start to this, a lightweight matchup between Usman Nurmagomedov and Mike Hamill. The bell and round two, and again, Mike Hamill explodes out of his corner, meets Nurmagomedov in the center of the ring and eats that body kick. And uh, again, Nurmagomedov going upstairs with the kick blocked by Hamill, but then manages to land the jab to the sternum. Beautiful low calf kick by Mike Hamill. He needs to continue to work at landing that shot. Hamill definitely pressuring Nurmagomedov. made off. Brought in a nutritionist as he got his head popped back with that jab. Trying to make weight the right way after having issues again on that short notice fight against Adam Borch. And Adam Borch again, one of the top fighters on the Bellator MMA roster. And he fought a beautiful fight. He lost a split decision against the guy coming in, you know, on that week's notice. Yeah, he was this weight. What do you expect? And here, the feints, the, the chess match that's unfolding here between Nurmagomedov Madoff and Hamill. What did you like most in the opening round as they uh, look to exchange here? What I loved and what I saw out of Uzma Nurmagomedov again was it was the variety of tags. He was going up high, he was coming down low, he was going to the body, he was using kicks, he was using a jab. He's got a arsenal of attacks and he uses all of them, which keeps you off balance. What about Hamill? He continues to come forward and Hamill looks for the takedown on Nurmagomedov, Nurmagomedov, and so Mike Hamill pulling out all the stops, Joe. That was a nice takedown attempt, but again, he did not get it. You know, you saw Nurmagomedov's hand hits the ground, but he's right back up. And what you're seeing out of Hamill, what I do like, he continues to bring the pressure. He's continuing to try to vary his attack, but he's got to take chances at coming inside. And right now, when he is taking those chances, we're seeing that Nurmagomedov is making it painful. Yeah, Nurmagomedov painting him with kicks. Two minutes gone in the second stands up. Hamill doing whatever he can to try to get Nurmagomedov off his rhythm and uh, can Nurmagomedov, Nurmagomedov kick it? Yes, he can, John. 21 of 43. Total strikes landed all in favor of Nurmagomedov. Hamill misses with the left. Nice body kick by Usman again. Very impressed with the fact that Mike Hamill taking all of this damage, but it has not slowed him down. He keeps on trying to come forward. He's trying. He's looking for his attacks. And yet, Nurmagomedov made off at the same even composure, John. But very efficient, very economical with his offense. Now the one thing that you're starting to see a little bit more from Mike Hamill is he's starting to lean. He'll bring himself in with his feet a little bit, but he's leaning forward, which is then making his withdrawal slower, which is going to give Usman the ability to hit him more. Under two minutes left in the round, 
Numago Madoff started with Muay Thai and then trained in wrestling. He says he likes to strike more than wrestle, but he says it's no problem if you want to take it to the mat. Well, he's content to keep it in the stand-up where he is getting the best of a Mike Hamill. And yet Mike Hamill remains a gamer. That jab just keeps on peppering Mike Hamill right in the middle of his face. It's stopping his progression coming forward at times. It's a beautiful tool. And that may start to in inhibit some of his breathing. He's been moving a lot, expending a lot of energy, and now blood on the face of Mike Hamill as Nurmago Madoff continues to pick him apart at his own speed. Just look at the combination of those kicks. That was a beautiful kick with the left leg of the body, and then brings that off leg straight up to the sternum. Moves his head out of reach. There's that body kick by Nurmago Madoff. Leap right and the head kick. And again, goes after the takedown, threatens the takedown, and then ends it with the kick, making you pay. It's just a beautiful exhibition of all-around striking skill. Mike Hamill having a hard time breathing out of his, through his nose, so his mouth is open now. Final half minute of the second round. Marco Madoff painting Hamill's face with his own blood here in the final 20 seconds now. And again, the stiff jab lands beautifully for Nurmaga Madoff. The jab is getting nasty, Moral. Switches to orthodox, back to self-pop. And right there, just, just take a look at the angle as he circled out on that. Just a beautiful exhibition of what a defensive fighter will do. The bell and the third and final round underway in this lightweight matchup between the undefeated Bellator MMA newcomer, Usman Nurmagomedov, and Magic Mike Hamill looking to even his Bellator record at one and one. Mike Hamill doing the right thing by bringing that pressure forward. Just keep yourself a little, when you step in, do it off center, don't go straight in. And Mike Hamill has thrown that left hand over the top. Elbow from Mike Hamill. 15 times in this fight, and I don't think he's landed one of them. Before. And yet, he stays in the pocket. He stays in front of Nurmaga Madoff, but he has to make adjustments. He has to differentiate in there, changes levels, looks for the takedown, and tenaciously tries to get it on Nurmaga Madoff. Nurmaga Madoff posting. Let's start to work here, Mike. And Hamill has Nurmaga Madoff's back. That was a beautiful transition by Mike Hamill, using his hands to set up that takedown, changing levels, but again, he's unable to do anything with it. He gets to his back position, but not able to control the position. Mike Meta back on his feet, back to peppering the jab, throwing the knees, and the kicks. With some lemon pepper on that jab. Minute and a half gone in the final round. Hamill's corner exhorting him. Maka Madoff finishes that combination with a body kick. Avoiding doing a good job defensively and not overdoing a job, just moving out past time. Mouthpiece is on the canvas. Put it in. That's too that, The whole thing is there's not a lot of wasted motion from Nirvana Medoff. There's a lot of motion, but it's not wasted. Ammo continues to throw double jab in the left hand from the southpaw stance. You also have to think how much respect you have for Mike Hamill. Yeah. He has taken a lot of shots, and he is still in this fight. He is still trying to win it. He is still coming forward. you got to be impressed with this guy. He is a fighter to the core. 28-year-old out of Green River, Wyoming. And again, searching for the takedown. Dogged determination by Mike Hamill. Will he be able to create some magic in the last half of this, the final round? Oblique kick. That kick was blocked. Yeah, but that hurt. No one blocked. Yeah, that, 
drop the whatever air remains. Oh, there now it's Nurmagomedov piecing up. Hamill with that combination. He got hurt by that body shot. That's why you're seeing him back off. He's got to gain some space. It's there. Under two minutes left here in the final round. Jab by Nurmagomedov, and again the takedown attempt by Hamill. Let's see if he can make this one successful. Delivering short knee strikes. Now has Nurmagomedov's back with a minute and a half remaining. What kind of magic can Hamill conjure up? He's trying to pull it off right now. Nice job of getting back to the feet by Usman. Another oblique kick, counter body kick by Nurmagomedov. That landed cleanly. Windmill right hand misses for Hamill. There's a lot of blood on both fighters here, Paul, but it's only coming from one of them. Final 60 seconds. Hamill again misses with the windmill. Nurmagomedov touches him with the jab. Take a look at that kick stat right there. 36 of 68. My God, that's a lot of production. And Hamill again. The wrestling family from the University of Wyoming still searching for a takedown. Still being gritty, still being tough, still going after the win. 30 seconds left in the fight. Hamill continuing to bring the fight, but he's getting countered effectively by Nurmagomedov. It's Hamill bringing the pressure, but it's Nurmagomedov doing the damage. That's exactly it. He's being a beautiful counterfighter. He's utilizing that pressure to work to his advantage. And now you got the end. beautiful strike right there. That hurt. And Hamill looking to put an exclamation point on his gritty effort. With that jumping knee, but for Usman Nurmagomedov, as good as advertised, John? Absolutely. <laughs> Moro, if you are not impressed with that performance based upon what Mike Hamill was bringing his way, you are not liking MMA. That was outstanding. <laughs> Let's take a look at these highlights here. Look at the body kicks, and it's really, look at all of the transitions from one technique to another. It was Usman landing body shots, going to the head with the jab. All of these strikes adding up. Mike Hamill putting a lot of pressure, really trying to close that distance on Usman. It was just those kicks and the body strikes that Usman was landing. Look at that kick to the body, man. That, all I can tell you is that hurts. Look at the stats here. 73 strikes landed to 36. Morrow, take a look at those kicks right there. 38. 38. You know what that's Boy like to get time. kicked 38 times? <laughs> no, thank you. I got kicked once by Boss Rutten. Once. <laughs> uh, a tremendous effort for Usman Nurmagomedov. And again, we look forward to seeing what he has in store in the Bellator MMA lightweight division. But for Mike Hamill, we go to the judges' scorecards, but this is the type of fighter you, you want to have on your roster, John. He was in the deep end of the talent pool tonight. Oh, my God. You're taking a look at a guy, you know, you can count that Mike Hamill is going to come to fight, and that's all you can ask of a guy. He came out there, gave everything he had, was always trying to win the fight, was never being a guy that was just saying, okay, I'm just going to try to last in this fight and defend myself. He was always being offensive. you got to love that guy. Let's go to Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, after three non-stop rounds of action, we'll go to your three judges at cage side. Your first, Doug Crosby, scores the fight 29 to 28, while judges Sal D'Amato and Michael Bell both see it the same, 30 to 27. All have it for the winner by unanimous decision, Usman Nurmagomedov. A beautiful and brutal Bellator MMA debut for Usman Nurmagomedov. An early birthday present. He turns 23 on April 17, improves to 12-0, 1-0 in Bellator.